My name is Karen Pendleton and I'm very fortunate to be the principal here at Clearbrook Elementary. The school has been an important part of this community for a very long time. It's been here about 75 years. You know, when I walk around this room, it makes me think of a child um, that went to school here. The child looks at me and she said, um, we don't have any food at our house. It really did strike me off guard to think, you know, they didn't have any food in the house. And I saw also, I guess, what would have happened if we just had kind of written off what that child had said as something like, oh, well, they're, they're just kind of talking because, you know, could we really have a kid in our school without food? Sometimes people think they have to go to a third world country, someplace really far away um, to try to help people out that don't have um, food and don't have clothing, don't have shelter. Sometimes we forget that those people are right here among us. Um, we just kind of become blind to what's going on in our backyard. I had a student in my class um, that appeared to be very hungry. And the reason I noticed these things is because they never had a snack for themselves that they brought to school. Um, I was more than happy to provide snacks for the children. And so every day this child would come up and ask um, for a snack and would sometimes even steal extra snacks, which I just kind of turned my back and looked the other way because I didn't mind that this child did this. I knew that obviously they were hungry. Um, I also noticed that this child would hide food in their cheeks and I had never seen a child do this and it just dawned on me one day that the reason this child was doing this is because they were wanting food for later. So they were saving food in their cheeks. And that, that broke my heart because no child should have to worry about where that food is gonna come from. We can do something about this, you know. We can all step up and whether it's just donating one item of food a month, whether it's giving financially of what you have, whether it's coming on Wednesday nights to pack a sack to help these children, um, whether it's through prayer, Whatever it is, um, people can get involved and people can step up and help these children that are in need. We found that $5 a weekend is all it takes to feed a child. I know the women's ministry is wanting to step up and help out um, in any way that they can through this ministry. And we're hoping to really partner with Clearbrook and try to help meet some of those needs that these families have and that these children have. I think that um, this pack a -Sack program would go a long way to helping kids understand that they're not alone and that when these needs exist um, that there are folks who are willing to jump in and become part of the solution. I think that our hope is that these children, you know, not only will their physical need be met, but I, I hope that they will see that there are people that care about them. You know, they're not going to know where this food comes from, um, and it doesn't really matter. I just think that um, they're going to know somewhere that somebody is noticing that they're hungry and that they, they need to be fed and that somebody is providing that for them. When other people become involved in trying to help those kids, um, that it, it's, it's a really powerful thing because it says a lot about um, what we're trying to do to make this place a better place for everybody. And um, we like to think that in a country where you know, most people have the food that, we, that they need, that we can provide those same thing for all kids. And I think that the project that um, Lori's talked about um, really would help to meet that need for the kids that are in this community.